G'day guys, I've had a request to do an equations of motion question, more specifically a question that asks what braking force is required to make a car come to a complete stop in a certain distance. So what we've got is we've got a 1600 kilogram car traveling at 90 kilometers an hour. What braking force must be applied for the car to come to a complete stop in 50 meters? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to write down what we know, just to make sure we've got it all under control. We know that this car weighs 1,600 kilos, so let's write that down. And we know that we're going 90 kilometers an hour. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert that to standard index units. So we're going to divide that by 3.6 to get to meters a second, and we get 25. Cool. And we've got to get the car to come to a complete stop in 50 meters. So the way that we're going to go about working this question out is at um, like at the start of this uh, problem, we've got a car that's traveling at a particular speed. So we've got a car that's traveling with a particular speed and as a result has a particular kinetic energy. So the braking force that's going to be applied has to be such that we can reduce all of this kinetic energy to zero in 50 meters. Okay, so basically what we've got is at time equals zero, or our initial time, we've got a particular kinetic energy, okay? And at time, like the final time, like at the end, we've got to get the car to come to a complete stop. So we've got So basically what has to happen is the brakes have to put have to do enough work on the car to to basically cancel out all of the kinetic energy that we um, the car initially has. So first of all, let's go about calculating that initial kinetic energy. So hopefully you guys are aware of how to do this. We have energy kinetic is obviously the one to do with uh, the velocity or the movement of an object is equal to half m v squared. So Let's just sub in all the things we know. We know that the energy kinetic is going to be equal to one half times the mass, which is 1600 kilos, times the velocity, which is 25 squared. Cool. So half of 1600 is 800, 25 squared is 625. If we multiply those together, we're going to get half a million joules. Cool. So, what we've basically got to do is the brakes have to put enough work on this car in 50 meters to be able to cancel out all 500,000 joules that we have. So, the next part of this question is we're going to use the equation work is equal to force times distance. So, what we're trying to find is we're trying to find force, we know the work that's required, it's going to have to be half a million joules, and the distance is going to be 50 meters. So we can rearrange this then to be equal to force is equal to work divided by distance, which is equal to half a million divided by 50. Which is equal to 10,000 newtons, or some teachers like you to write it as 10 kilo newtons. Cool. So, basically, not a very complicated question if you know what you're doing. You initially have a car with a certain amount of energy that is a result of its movement or kinetic energy. We're going to figure out what the hell that is. Once we've figured out what movement energy it has, what we have to do is we can figure out the amount of braking force that's required because, um, due to the fact of how far it has to stop and how much of this movement energy it has to cancel out. So once we've got the movement energy, we can then rearrange this work equals force times distance equation and we can get the force that has to be applied over that distance. So if we apply a force of 10,000 newtons, on the brakes, we will be able to stop this car 
and send it from 90 kilometers an hour to zero in 50 meters. So I hope the question helped guys. It's not a very long one. If you do one or two of them, I'm sure you'll be fine in an exam if you see this question. Um, if it did help, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I've got quite a few videos on physics and maths and chemistry and whatever whatever else. I do take requests for problems if you need anything or any help. But until next time, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video.